Now that we've tested our code and we've managed to get it working locally, the next step is to put our script online so that it can be run on schedule and we don't have to manually open up PyCharm and run it every morning at 7 a.m. How do we do this? Well, we're going to use Python Anywhere, the same service that we used before when we created the automatic birthday wisher. Now, the first thing we're going to do is, of course, log into the service and we're going to delete all of our previous files. So that includes the letter template folder and also the main.py and the birthday CSV. Now, instead of the previous main.py, we're going to upload our latest main.py. So let's go ahead and locate this in our computer. And then we're going to upload it to Python Anywhere. There you go. Now let's open up this file and click bash console here. So that's going to create our console down at the bottom. And once it's ready like this, we can enter the command to run this code. So it's Python three, and then it's the name of our file, which is main.py. And because it's directly within my users folder, I don't have to specify a file path to it. Now, I don't recommend to have your main.py nested within other folders because it's going to make this a little bit more complicated. So as long as you've uploaded it to the same place that I have just straight after your username, then we should be able to run this line of code. And we can test out whether if this code now works when it's being run from Python anywhere. Now, what you'll see instead of the message status, however, is a exception and it's a connection error. And the connection error tells us something about this API Twilio max retries exceeded with URL. So if we go ahead and highlight that, which will copy it, then we can paste it into Google and figure out what's wrong. The first post you can see is a post from help at Python Anywhere. And they've created this post to tell you how to get Twilio to work on free accounts with Python Anywhere. As they say, if you're trying to use Twilio on a Python Anywhere free account, you're going to run into an error that looks something like this, which is exactly what we got. And that's where Google search picked it up to show us this article. The reason for this is because the Twilio API basically needs to be told how to connect to the proxy servers that free accounts use. When you have a paid account on Python anywhere, you have an actual address to your dedicated server. But when you only sign up with a free account like we have here, we only get a proxy server. So we need to change the code a little bit in order for it to work. Even though we are actually using the latest version of Twilio from testing, I found that this code doesn't seem to work for me. Instead, we have to use this version of the fix that they've specified here. So the only difference from their version of the code and what we have here in our main.py is three lines of code. First, we have to import this class called Twilio HTTP client from the Twilio module. So let's copy that and paste it below our previous lines. Now, in addition, we have to create a proxy client with the Twilio HTTP client class that we just imported just now. So we're going to put that in our if statement when we're about to create our SMS message. The last step is where we have our client class being created. We have to set this HTTP client parameter to the proxy client that we created just now. That's going to go right here. The rest of the code we can leave as is, and we can simply hit save to update that code. Now, once we've typed all of that code, you can see we get an error in here. It says undefined name OS, and that's because this OS actually comes from an OS module. So we should import that in order for this error to go away. So let's hit save again, and you can see we are now free of warnings and errors. We're now ready to go into our console and to run the same command again, which is Python three and then it's the name of our file main.py. So now when we hit enter, you can see we get back the message queued, which comes from this print statement. And that's because the status of our message has now been queued. And you can see I've now received the message from Twilio 
And this is of course because my main.py was run on the Python Anywhere servers instead of from my local computer. So now that we've confirmed that this works, we can now finally go back to Python Anywhere and go to the task section in order to set up our task. Now here, I've still got my previous task set up when we created the automatic birthday wisher. Now, because I'm demoing this with a free Python Anywhere account, I can only create one scheduled task. If I start paying them, then I can schedule as many as I want and they never expire. But because we're just learning here, I don't want you to commit to a paid account just to be able to see how it works. So we're gonna use the same scheduled task now, if you don't have any tasks scheduled, just go ahead and create one. And the command is going to be the same. It's Python three, and then it's running our main.py. So the same command that you entered previously, and we're going to set the frequency to daily, and it's going to run at 7 a.m. every day. In order to test this, I'm going to change the time from 7 a.m. to the current time. So the current server time is registering as 10.01, but in fact, I'm actually seeing 02. So I'm going to change that to 10.03 and then hit the check mark. And now I'm going to wait patiently to see if that is going to be triggered automatically from the scheduled tasks and I get the SMS sent to my phone. And there you have it. This is now being sent to me from Twilio because we made the API call, but it's being sent because I've got this scheduled task, which is calling this command in order to run our main.py. And it's being done at a time which I've specified, which in fact, I want to happen at probably 7 a.m. in the morning. Now notice that this is UTC time. So if you wanna convert the UTC time to your local time, so at the moment we're on British summer time where I'm at, then you can type this into Google and change this to whatever time zone you're in. And that way you can figure out what time UTC is relative to your local time. In my case, it's just one hour behind. So if I want this to run at 7 a.m. my local time, then I have to change this to six o'clock. And now that's going to run every day at 6 a.m. without me needing to do anything. And I'm going to get my notification on time if it's going to rain. 